What I've been focusing on for, I guess, uh, decades, <laughs> it's a long time, is what today is called light painting. Light painting is uh, you shoot a long exposure with your camera. It can be, uh, it can be 30 seconds. It can be uh, two hours. Shooting a dark scene, um, the shutter is locked open the whole time. And so during two hours, you're walking around a dark scene at night with lights lighting the set. So my style is very, very personal. And I, I describe it as, as a theatrical uh, lighting. Um, so I will go into a scene and, uh, and I'll just imagine that I'm looking at a theater set. And, and I just think of how would I light it if it was a theater set. It might be a very boring or ugly or even scary looking scene. How do you light it to make it uh, uh, go from scary to inviting, um, boring to exciting? You know, you, you have to imagine what's going on. You're, you're, you're somewhere at night in the dark um, looking at some, you know, you're looking at a building or you're looking at something and now you've got to light it to make it look interesting. I found myself wandering around um, parts of the city where no one goes, you know, dark urban alleys and uh, uh, abandoned buildings and, you know, various kinds of ruins because there were places where people didn't go. Basically, I, I had a kind of nervous breakdown when I was in my early 20s. I went from being, being like a social butterfly to, to having a very intense and debilitating uh, social anxiety. And it just was like this. It happened almost overnight. I was an aspiring young artist, and then this happens, and then suddenly I can barely even walk out of my place. I, going to buy, the, buy a loaf of bread would give me anxiety, right? Anxiety attacks, like I just couldn't do it. I used to photograph, you know, beautiful things. and which a lot of photographers like to do. Uh, suddenly, you know, I wanted to be honest about my, my work. And, I, and so uh, my new goal was to photograph ugly things and make them ugly because I assumed that's what would happen. And I just wanted to be honest about my work. But instead what happened was that I was taking these ugly places and making them beautiful. I'd look at the photograph and go, well, wait, no, this is not what I'm trying to do, right? Well, how come, I'm, how come this, you know, ugly kind of scary place that I was just shooting at last night suddenly looks nice and sort of appealing. I was trying to kind of soften the blow of, sort of deflect the fear of these places. And suddenly I felt at home. I felt this, I felt like I could relax here. This was a place that I felt comfortable with a strange thing happened because I just kept going night after night. It was this crazy obsession and and um, I couldn't wait for the night so I could go out and kind of salvage a new part of the of, of the city, you know, find this corner and now turn this ugly place into something beautiful. I felt a, a kind of kinship with them. One thing that I discovered uh, in, you know, shooting in these in these alleys at night and trying to create beautiful things out of ugliness was was that I realized that I still had all that joy and love of life inside of me. Uh, I was buried under a lot of uh, soot and and crap, uh, but it was all there. I've managed to uh, sweep away a lot of that crap. And, um, and I've found that sort of core that, you know, I've, I had for so much of my life. And so it was time to kind of reframe, it was time to express this other side of me that I was starting to, to find again. Instead of going into these gritty places where I really like put my life in danger and I haven't even touched on that. Now I go into more ordinary places that can be mundane, uh, they can be 
nice like a beach. With the alleys and ruins, I found that I was, by cr making them beautiful, I was creating this kind of portal, this kind of escape hatch into this kind of, um, uh, this magical world um, of, of childhood, frankly. And when I, when I started shooting in these sort of nicer places, um, that portal was so much bigger, it was so much easier um, to find that kind of magical um, fantasy world that I was trying to create.